think it's a mismatch, to be honest, just on size alone, he's too big. Like, uh, Jermaine Jr. is just too big. He's comp competed at super middleweight. Um, for me, you know, uh, for others at super middleweight, he's down at middleweight now, and it looks, he looks pretty tight at middleweight. I can't see how he's gonna get much lighter. He might do it for the, for the, for the Ben fight, because he thinks this guy's too small, and there'd be a lot of money at stake, a lot of profile. It might open a lot of doors for him to, to move on, but um, yeah, for me, it's, it's not the right move for, for Conor Ben personally. I mean, he might prove me wrong, and you know, you know, whenever if, if you've got something wrong, then you're happy to admit that. But I just think he's doing really well at the moment. He's boxing well. You know, he's, uh, he's still still learning his craft. He's, you know, he hasn't been in that many huge fights. Why go into this fight? Give away all the natural advantages. Giving away. Uh, Experience, size. I think, you know, for folks, the the Connor Ben jump up with the uh, the fate, the fate Chris Eubank. Uh, it's a risky move to to to, to put on a lot of weight and fight someone. But the more I think about it, it's more of a risk for uh, Eubank mm. because like he has to drain himself. He he's going to be bollocks getting in that weight, and there's nothing worse than being absolutely drained. The uh, Trying to fight, like he's gonna be, he's gonna be done when two three rounds. If he don't get Connor Ben out of there in three rounds, I think Connor Ben stops him. I think Chris is Chris is too big, too you know, too aggressive, too tenacious. Um, so I could see, I can see, uh, you know, Connor having some success early. Um, but once Chris gets the gears going, he's gonna to be too much, and I think it would end in a stoppage. Do you believe that Conor Ben comes out of the Eubank fight with his O still intact? Uh, I think he's got more advantages in the fight than Eubank has because, like I said, the the catch weight um, and the rehydration, if that happens, I'm not sure the ins and the outs of negotiations. But um, like I think that gives him the edge, like personally. But... Who knows? I'll sit on the fence for that. I'll sit on the fence because Eubank is a big guy. Mm. He's a very big guy um, compared to compared to Ben. But I don't know if he'll be the same Eubank at 156 pounds. So I would I would favour. I'll be rooting for Ben in that fight. Actually, I'll be rooting for him. Uh, well, from being Brighton, I'm going to favour Eubank. So. But I like I like the both of them, and I wish the best for them. But because I'm a Brighton Jim, I have to say uh, you banks obvious. Bill, I think the most improved fighter in Britain is probably uh, sorry Conor Ben. He, you know, if you compare him to the Pe Cedric Payno fight to now, then they're, they're, they're completely different fighters, and that's down to the natural talent of Conor Ben and the tutelage of Tony Sims. I do believe that. Connor has the know-how to outbox uh, Chris Eubank Jr. If I'm deadly honest, but there is that size, that power advantage that Chris Eubank has. So, and the fact that he's got a granite chin, and we've seen how hurtful Connor is. But you got to remember, Connor's going to be coming down from 12 stones something. I know he is a welterweight, but <laughs> it's no it's no easy feat for him to get down to welter. Let me tell you that. So he's still going to have to lose a stone to get to uh, the catch weight. So he's going to be strong, he's going to be fueled, he's going to be pumped. I'm sure there's going to be a uh, rehydration clause in there. So like I say, I am biased, but I make a very good case for Conor Ben to win that fight.